Hey guys, and welcome back to another lovely day, or night, almost night, in my Minecraft survival world. That was a bit of an awkward intro there. And I'm happy to announce, I'm happy to say that finally, all of my exams are completely finished. All of my nine exams which I had to do, they're all ticked off, and everything's done. To be honest, they went decently. I think they could have gone better, um, but a lot of the time it was because the exams themselves were just terrible. It's not because I could particularly do anything um, more, and I think I've put in my best efforts, so hopefully that should all go well um, when results day comes about. But finally all of that's finished, so I'm happy to be back in my Minecraft world doing some cool stuff over here, and today we're going to be finishing off the slime farm, or the slime farm storage system at least, because that's all that's uh, left to be done. And it's going to be a pretty simple project, and it's going to be pretty easy, so um, don't worry, because we're not going to be spending a whole nother episode just on the slime farm project. We're going to be doing something um, else in this episode, and it's going to involve going all the way down to the nether, and uh, doing a few things over there. We're not going to be building anything, we're not going to be doing any redstone projects or any aesthetic projects, we're not going to be expanding the nether hub either, but um, I guess you'll just have to keep tuned um, and find out what we're going to be doing down in the nether, but it's a pretty long-winded project and it's going to take a while. So um, I'll go down there a little bit later on in the episode, but first of all, I think I'm going to take you all the way over to the storage system, and uh, I'm not going to explain much, by the way, while I'm, while I'm building this time, because I don't think I really need to. Um, it's going to be quite a simple build, and I've already explained the majority of the stuff um, in the last episode, so I think I can just go straight over there and uh, get this project started. So as you can tell, this thing is going to be pretty um, small and quite compact, and I think it's going to work pretty well because we've got the hoppers all facing in to where the chests are going to be over here, and everything should fit together nicely. Um, and although I kind of originally wanted the hoppers to come around the back here and loop around all the way to there, um, I think that's going to cost a lot more hoppers than I was previously imagining, so I'm probably not going to do that. And also the slime farm is not going to produce that much um, in terms of all of the slime balls and stuff, so uh, it's it's not really going to be worth it, and I'm probably going to transfer the slime balls to my kind of storage system down there um, underneath my house um, quite often when it gets filled up and stuff, which I don't think is really going to happen anyway, so um, I'm just going to place in all of the chests right now. I hope I have enough chests. Each of these um, sections is a module of kind of 16 chests, so we have four by four uh, modules here, so we have one here and one on this side. This is just all of the different supplies which I've got to decorate this place, uh, which I'll be doing in just a second. But I don't know, should I put the decoration in first and then start putting in the, the chests? That's probably a good idea because um, all of these blocks and stuff will be visible, so it's probably a good idea to get rid of these blocks um, underneath the hoppers and things and uh, make this area um, behind where the chests are going to be look a little bit better as well because you can obviously see through the chests are not a full block um, so I think I'll just go and do that and then I'll get some of the aesthetics of this build in wow this thing is super super fast we've already got two and a bit stacks of sign balls and I haven't even created um, a specialized like AFK position for this thing which is probably going to be down there I don't know if I really need to create one anymore because this is super super fast but um, anyway, this design is going pretty well. I love the way that everything looks. It feels quite cozy, quite compact, and I really like um, the design and the materials that I've used. Even though I was planning to use things like granite and diorite and things, um, to be honest, I don't think this design needed to be that complicated, and I just went with the stone slabs and stone bricks, and also even some oak wood in the back, which I really don't use much. And we've also got some simple lighting over here in the corners with the glowstone. And I've also got some black stained glass, which I just picked up from the nether. Because all of my glass is in the nether for some, for some reason. Since the, um, since the nether hub design um, episode, I kind of just left it all there. And I picked this stuff up, so now this will look a little bit better as well. And quite like the look of that. Um, but if I take you up to the surface, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, I don't know if I showed it in the last episode that this thing is actually directly next to my railway station, 
Uh, but the bit, the reason I actually built it like f three or four blocks underground is because um, these railway stations actually have a platform which is like one block underground as well. And I'm probably going to extend this railway station over into this area because down there, that's the north direction. So I haven't got anything um, down there. I haven't got any kind of builds or anything, but I probably will end up building something um, along in that direction in the future. And that means I'll probably end up building a railway station over here to get me connected to that area. So I've planned uh, for that in advance and I've kept this build quite low underground so we can actually build the whole railway station above it. But that means that we're going to need a way to get in and out of this place. And my idea for that is to actually go and build a slime block launcher. But the only thing is, I've, I don't know where to actually put this thing because obviously there is limited space over here. Um, we've got to keep all of this area free for the railways. So I'm not sure. I think I'll have to go around and uh, figure out where to actually build in that slime block launcher. I'll probably have it coming out of this wall here. Um, but also I have to go and actually finish up all of the aesthetics in here. But so far, I think it's been pretty good. So in the end I unfortunately didn't go for any slime block launchers at all and instead I've just got a pair of ordinary trapdoors right here. Very very simple, very very um, ordinary like I said and it kind of looks a little bit weird to have them in the middle of all of the glass here, uh, all of the grass here sorry, but to be honest I think it should do the job and the reason I didn't build a slime block elevator by uh, slime block launcher, by the way, I'm sorry if I keep saying elevator all the time. I'm just so used to it. Um, but if the reason I didn't actually build this thing is because it would have been much too complicated, basically. And this is a very very long shaft for a single um, slime block launcher, so it would have been way too complicated in terms of the redstone. And I don't think I would have got a good enough design for what I wanted, which would be to kind of retract all of the blocks here at the surface and then and then fall down. And then when you get put, um, launched all the way to the top, um, the the blocks would kind of retract back beneath you. And I thought that would be way too complicated. We need redstone up here and stuff as well. So instead, I've just opted for this, which obviously minimizes the fall damage. You won't get any fall damage if you just go um, down and press space like that and you'll slowly go to a halt and then you can just walk forward into this mini little corridor which really didn't take too long uh, to make at all and we've got the glowstone in the sides there and then we've got the lovely looking storage system and I really love the way this all turned out and uh, I'm glad to say that it is now finished. We're getting all the slime balls coming in and hopefully over time this will start to um, fill up with slime balls. And by the way, if you're wondering, this wall has kind of been left undecorated and open because in the future, um, if I do end up building a railway station directly above this thing, then I kind of want to have like a set of ladders or something going straight up into that railway station or maybe even like a stairway. Uh, going along here or something along the lines of that uh, just so we can connect up to there and it would be much easier and then I don't know what I'd do to this entrance I think I'd just leave it like this I guess uh, maybe in the future I can have like a a piston elevator or something or something really cool when I'm really rich in terms of all of the resources and that kind of leads me on to what we're going to be doing next in this episode so you probably noticed I'm sporting a really cool looking diamond enchanted sword and it looks really cool um, I, I really feel like much more powerful holding this and to be honest I feel like having full diamond armor and full diamond enchanted tools and everything I feel like going all out uh, in Minecraft and using up all of my resources but the thing is that I don't exactly have infinite resources right now and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty reserved using my diamonds and I always have been in Minecraft, but the next thing we're going to be doing is probably going to be changing that uh, quite radically because basically the whole suspense thing which I've been keeping up for the whole episode is this. We're going to be going down to the nether and we're going to be going and finding loads and loads of wither skeletons and hoping to get two more wither skulls because that's what we need to fight the wither yes indeed we're going to be fighting the wither at some point not in this episode of course um, but basically over time I'm going to try and um, kind of gear up and get loads of diamond armor and diamond tools and things like that along with this um, sword which I'll use to actually get all of the wither skulls so this is a looting three sword um, so we're just going to step over into the nether and then I'll explain a little bit more 
So we're down here in the nether and I've got to say this thing, this place looks absolutely awesome. This base has come along so nicely and it looks so super cool just to have this thing um, from the outside. And I know it's got all the nether rack and stuff, but I still love the look of it. And to think that, you know, we're going to have these wings coming out of each of these entrances, that really makes me happy because I think this place looks super cool. But getting away from that, the reason why I actually want to get um, a, to fight a wither skeleton boss or a wither boss, as they are called, um, is because I want to go and get myself a beacon, of course, which is what you can make by the nether stars with which they drop and I need a beacon because basically I want to improve my ability to mine all of these resources in Minecraft and I want to create a really really super fast mine and I think there's lava directly beneath me here yep would not want to fall down there um, but basically yeah, I want to create a super fast mine and uh, that will be achieved by setting my beacon to haste 2 or haste 3 or something like that and also using um, an efficiency 5 pickaxe which is very easy for me to make so um, I've been gathering up resources for a long time now as I showed in one of the previous episodes I had like loads of diamonds uh, in terms of ores and things and loads of coal ore and loads of all sorts of ores um, down at the fortune area and that's because I've been preparing for this project um, kind of subconsciously at first and then I figured that I would need a beacon eventually so I'm gonna have to go and fight the um, with the boss and I almost jumped into that fire this stuff is so annoying needs to be cleared up but to find a wither skeleton or lots of wither skeletons which I'm gonna need because these are really rare by the way these drops uh, these wither heads so to find one of these I'm gonna have to go all the way down to a nether fortress I'm pretty sure because they only spawned there and I've already got one of them by the way um, which is pretty cool as you can see this in this area there's some weird glitch where all of these um, these ghast fireballs are just flying up in the air and yeah very strange I don't think you can really move them this once happened in one of my redstone worlds but um, I, I, didn't, I don't think I could get rid of them or move them or anything even if I relog it's not gonna have any effect on these guys but Okay, that's just a little bit of decoration. Luckily, I'm not building anything in this area. But yeah, we're going to have to go down to a nether fortress. And I think I know where one is if I follow along one of these paths. And then hopefully, we should find loads and loads of these guys uh, so we can get their heads. And like I say, they're really rare. So that's why I brought a looting three sword along. And uh, hopefully, we will be lucky because it literally counts on luck. Okay, so I've literally just walked out of the nether hub and uh, I'm already lost. So, yeah, I totally know my way around the nether. Totally. Alright, I'm pretty sure I found it. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going from here. Um, this wasn't actually too far away, so we can connect this up to my nether hub at some point in a future episode. But now we know where to find all of the nether brick as well. And this path literally goes straight through here, so hopefully... Um, I can make a pathway up. Ooh, already have one. That's pretty useful. And I also know exactly where to make a blaze farm. So this is pretty useful. I think I'm going to be doing a, f a lot more projects in the future um, in the nether. Except these guys are really dangerous. So I got you. Come on. Oh no. Set on fire. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Okay, right. You, you can't even tell how excited I am right now. Because it's ri this is ridiculous, okay? I was just imagining to myself, I'm just going to go in a safe place here, I was just literally imagining to myself, what if I just kill a wither skeleton and instantly I get the skull on the first time round? Wouldn't that be really, really, really lucky? I was literally just imagining that to myself and I hit a wither skeleton, my first one, literally my first one, and I got a skull. So... To be honest, that just makes me really good. I feel like I can get a thousand skulls today because that's never happened before. People have spent like hours and hours looking for the skeleton skulls and not found them. And this looting three sword is amazing. I'm keeping this for the rest of my life. That is amazing. Okay, so that was that one down, one, one to go, I guess. That was quick. I was expecting to be here for like hours. And that's why I brought all of this food along with me and okay. Right, let's let's get on to the next one. There's two over there. Uh, I think this is going to be pretty simple. Okay, so the one which I just killed just then didn't give me um, anything. I'm sorry if I kind of scared you with my extreme excitedness there, but I really, really didn't expect that to happen, if you can tell already. And is this guy going to try and attack me? Um, 
Nope. I think skeletons tell to, tell, tend to do this. They tend to walk off. And uh, let's see what this guy drops. Nothing again. This is what I was expecting it to be. Just like you go to one and then another and then nothing happens. Then you go to like the 10,000th one and then you get rid of the skeleton skull. Oh, wow, that was pretty surprising. I have the temptation to kind of go and record every time I see a wither skeleton now. I think that is probably the best way to go, judging by how lucky I've been. So let's see if this... Oh, that call I kind of mistook <laughs> for a wither skull then. I think I'm getting too optimistic now, too optimistic. Okay, the pigmen are angry at me for some reason. I think it's because of these thousands of blazes everywhere who have caused some trouble for me, so... I'm gonna have to go and block off this area right here. Okay, I'm extremely nervous if you can't tell already. I don't want to die in the nether for sure and definitely not by pigmen. <sighs> okay, I think I'm safe. <sighs> I think I'm safe in this corner. Damn, I didn't know pigmen could get agitated um, by blazes firing at you. So, as in the player. So, yeah, there are a lot of blazes around here. There are loads. Okay, looks like they are not angry anymore, but we still have tons and tons of different mobs firing in all directions. I can hear a gas. We've got two of these wither skeletons here. Let's see what these guys do. Okay, nothing there, and lagging, and nothing there, and now I'm withered, apparently, so I think I should just get straight back to my little hideout over here, just in case any zombie pigmen decide to show up. And, uh, no, okay, that seems okay. This is getting very dangerous. Somehow we have another one spawn in the exact same place. And this guy also dropped nothing. And another one. Let's see what this guy gives. Come on. Ah, nope. Okie dokie, we're charging in for the next few wither skeletons right here. Let's see what these guys do. And this guy's gonna hit me from the back. Ah, I thought I almost fell to my death there. This is getting very, very nerve-wracking indeed. Okay, and we've got another one here. Let's see what this guy drops. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on! Okay, yet again, nothing. So you can see how lucky I actually was to get it on my very first Wither Skeleton. That guy scared the crap out of me. Ah, <sighs> okay, finally he's gone. Now I know where all these blazes were spawning as well. They were coming from here. Okay, I promise this is the absolute last one, which I will record. Hopefully the one after this isn't the one where I get a Wither Skeleton skull. And, uh, no, nothing over there. Boy, do I feel better and much safer to be down here in this nice, cozy little place. <sighs> Everything is just so much more bright and awesome looking in the overworld. Damn, that place is scary. I'm never going to the nether again. Or oh, at least I say, but I'm going to have to go there to get the other uh, wither skeleton skull and to work on my nether base and all that kind of stuff. I seem to be lagging very badly because we're probably loading in all of the area around here. But let's see what we grabbed um, from all of these fortresses. So we've got two sets of diamond horse armor, we've got some gold horse armor, we've got the one with a skeleton skull obviously, we've got some magma cream and that is pretty much it. I also found two diamonds in there which is also pretty cool and lots and lots of blaze rods and also a few saddles over here as well. So definitely, definitely, definitely this has been a crazy, crazy time um, in the nether and as you can see I'm getting very 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 low FPS 2 FPS wow this is very very bad um, I think I'm gonna have to stop recording and figure out what's going on here so I don't think the lag issues are anything to worry about they seem to have subsided for the time being and I think it was just because I started recording at the wrong time by the looks of things but everything is okay now and not only that of course we have come to the end of this episode and what a crazy episode has it been? It's been absolutely crazy. I've been, I've miraculously survived through the nether, to be honest. Um, I didn't think I would survive, and that's why I've got this special golden, um, golden jacket on here, which is what I found in one of the nether fortresses, in one of the chests down there, as some loot. So I thought I'd wear it because, you know, time to celebrate. Now I've survived all of that, and I can't really believe it because there were blazes, there were... The uh, pigmen were angry at me, and it was pretty crazy. It was intense, and the nether is a scary place, guys. Don't go there unless you're trying to find wither skeleton skulls, because they're pretty useful. They will be useful, and when I actually do spawn in the wither 
boss. I absolutely can't wait until that fight. And to be honest, am I ready for it? Well, the answer to that question is probably no, but you know, I'll get ready with time, I guess. Um, but yeah, that is all we have time for in today's episode. If you did like this one, um, please be sure to leave a like down there and maybe even subscribe. This one wasn't very much planned at all and the cuts were a little bit crazy and out of order and I sort of just started recording at any time but I thought that that would be a new kind of way of recording just for this episode to see how you guys liked it and if you don't then please be sure to comment down there and tell me because I did think it was a little bit of a weird way to record an episode. But that is all for today, so please join me in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then.